Here are 10 things that you probably didn't know that are legal to own in the UK. And of course, many of them come with requirements. And because the UK is notorious for the laws restricting on certain things that you're allowed to own, you might find some of them very surprising. So stick around to the end of the video and you might enjoy this. In at number 10 are ants. Yes, those things that you normally try and get rid of in the summer when they pop up for ant day and you run out and get some ant powder. Well, we actually have an ant farm over there with a Japanese species with three queens and loads of workers because my son got into ants one summer when he was doing it for a school project. But actually it will be a criminal offence to let these things loose in the wild. But on the other hand there is no strict law saying that I can't keep these as pets. So whilst many of you might not have thought about that, they actually make quite an interesting pet to study of how they dig all the holes and everything else. In at number nine you might be surprised to hear that it is actually legal to buy, own and to drive a passenger bus. Although you will have to upgrade your licence to include category D which is a passenger carrying vehicle. Also you will need a certificate of professional competence if you plan to carry people for profit but if you don't plan to do that you don't need the full CPC. And true story many many moons ago when I was a voluntary police officer we actually got a call out from a neighbour who was complaining that their neighbour was parking one of these passenger buses in the street blocking several houses at a time. Obstruction to the highway at its finest. In at number eight it is legal to own meerkats. Most of us will have watched these meerkats on the wildlife shows but it is actually legal to own these things. Although the RSPCA says that it's not safe to do so, they are quite aggressive, they bite, and there are other legal requirements as to how you're supposed to care for and keep them, which are probably going to be impractical, if not impossible, in your own home. So probably not the best of ideas. In at number seven we have samurai swords, although this is the topic of much debate and confusion because there are several laws that overlap each other when it comes to swords. The safest assumption when it comes to swords is that you're not allowed to own them, but of course there are some very narrow exceptions. That's because in April 2008 a law came into effect essentially banning the ownership of swords if they had a blade over 50 centimetres. Although many people don't realise that in August of the same year there was an amendment passed which included a couple of exemptions. These exemptions included whether or not the sword was handmade in traditional forging methods or if they were made before 1954. There are a number of different traditional forging methods, one of which is the use of carbon steel in certain ways and another that includes the folding of that steel. So you may have heard the term a folded carbon steel blade and this again is one of the traditional forging methods. There are also more recent laws regarding the sale and purchase of such swords but these original exemptions remain in place. At number six you might be equally surprised to learn that you are legally allowed to own a monkey although you do need to get a license for it. And of course you must keep it in accordance with the Dangerous Wild Animals Act of 1976. These of course set out various strict requirements as to the habitat and how you keep and care for the animal, but overall many people do keep monkeys as pets as an alternative to the traditional cat or dog. Although experts estimate that very very few of those are kept in accordance with the law and kept safely and properly and there are numerous call outs, so in my view I would go with a standard pet. For exactly the same reasons at number five you are also legally allowed to own a tiger, although again you need to get a license and again you need to keep it in appropriate conditions, which for most properties around the UK is going to be simply impossible. In at number four you may be further surprised if it is your dream to own a fighter jet. If you've got the money, the space and the time to learn how to use it, it is legal to buy a fighter jet if you follow certain procedures. The Civil Aviation Authority have a document called CAP 632 which deals specifically with decommissioned military aircraft. So if you're interested in owning a fighter jet, get in touch with the CAA. This might simply be because you're interested in reconstructing, repairing and having it on your front lawn. Whatever the reason might be, you can discuss it with the CAA. In at number three and back to weaponry, it is legal in the UK to buy a harpoon and a crossbow. Although naturally there are some age requirements involved and if you want to use it, that's got to be under very specific circumstances. In at number two, which is actually an idea for my channel, so let me know in the comments what you think of this one, it is legal to own and to use a radar speed gun to detect the speed of other moving objects, such as vehicles and cyclists. The idea for my channel is that I'm going to audit, if you will, the speed of vehicles in certain locations that people tell me are notoriously dangerous. I'm not planning to report and prosecute anybody for these, but just simply to raise awareness of different people speeding in different locations, just so that more people are aware just how fast they are driving in certain locations. But the point for this video is that it is perfectly legal to buy one of these speed radar guns and go out and use it, so long as you are not distracting traffic to the degree that it becomes dangerous. And the number one strangest thing that I've found is legal to own in the UK is a walking stick cane that conceals a shotgun. 
although the requirements are very narrow and very specific. And of course, there are firearm licenses involved in this, so it's not something you can just go out and buy, but it is legal to own under those very specific requirements. But since I am certainly no gun expert, I am going to rely on the expertise of Gun Room TV, with whom I'm going to do some collaborations in the very near future, so make sure you check that channel out, which is linked below, and make sure you subscribe to me to see those collaborations in action, because there are some very interesting discussions to be had with regards to firearms and what you can and cannot legally own. I for one am very interested in researching this with Gunroom TV to bring you those collaborations as to what the law says about UK firearms. In the meantime I hope you found that interesting please give the video a like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.